This hour by Frederick Remington Fully Cooked Ready to Eat Bacon. Exclusive no refrigeration 10 year extended shelf life bacon. The thickest media center cut bacon in the industry at fullycookedbacon.com. The stocks discussed on Wall Street Raw are not in any way a recommendation or solicitation to buy, sell, or hold. If considering on acting on information, we first recommend you seek out a competent, licensed professional for advice. What kingdom has sent you? The kingdom of the Most High. Nothing you have ever experienced can prepare you for the unbridled carnage you're about to witness. The Super Bowl, the World Series, they don't know what pressure is. In this building, it's either kill or be killed. They make no friends in the pits and you take no prisoners. One minute, you're up half a million in soybeans and the next, boom. Your kids don't go to college and they've repossessed your Bentley. Are you with me? Genesis Communication Network is proud to bring you Wall Street Raw with nationally recognized market timer and previous Wall Street Week elf, Mark Leibovich, welcoming you on board his financial time machine. And here is the elf himself, Mark Leibovich. It's a real thrill having my old friend Bill Koenig back on uh, Wall Street Raw. Bill has uh, been around a long time following the markets and the political scene, as you may remember. Uh, he is a White House correspondent. Uh, he has a website, uh, watch.org, which uh, is just incredible in covering the uh, political and religious events, uh, both uh, domestically and in the Middle East. And uh, more excitingly, uh, his great book, Eye to Eye, which uh, is in my, really my favorite book of all time, uh, has going to have a re-release here coming up in a few days so we want to talk about eye to eye and what's really going on in the world right now that's apparently triggered a lot of the catastrophic events that we're now uh, experiencing from florida texas and uh, even an earthquake down in uh, mexico the last couple of days bill thank you for joining us thank you mark always a pleasure to be with you Wow. So the expanded Eye to Eye has uh, 576 pages. Let's talk a little bit about Eye to Eye and the release and uh, how our listeners get a copy of that book right off the top. Well, thank you, Mark. I've, I've, you know, I've been watching for years uh, when the U.S. pressure on Israel to divide the land that God gave to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Uh, amazing record-setting catastrophe that happened the same day within 24 hours. And I noticed the greater the pressure on Israel to give up that land, Today, a Sumerian East Jerusalem for an Arab state by U.S. pressure or international pressure, the greater the corresponding catastrophes. And we've had over $100 billion events with a connection to U.S. pressure on Israel to divide their land. Despite the fact that we're a friend of Israel, the land that God gave to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, their descendants, is not to be divided or given up as I mentioned, for an Arab state. You have a great quote um, in your email, and it shall come to pass in that day that I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. That's really the key, that's really the key to the book. Yeah, absolutely, and it's, uh, it's very prophetic. Uh, I think we're living in the times uh, that the Jewish prophets of the Old Testament, uh, they, they spoke of a time like this, and even as a Christian, uh, Jesus Christ uh, gave us signs of the days, signs of the final days. And uh, as you watch the events taking place in Israel, God's time clock, and throughout the Middle East uh, with Iran and uh, Turkey, Syria, all significant final day players, as well as Russia, uh, you know, we watch this daily. And it's all coming to completion, just as those prophets and Jesus spoke of. And the signs are all about us. And as I mentioned, uh, Israel and the city of Jerusalem is God's time clock. So if you want to know where things stand, watch what the leaders of the world are attempting to do with the city of Jerusalem and the state of Israel. We had some real interesting developments here just in recent days, and you chronicle that in your emails. Uh, it all started with Kushner and Greenblatt that made a push for peace um, in Israel, and then uh, simultaneously uh, Harvey uh, heads toward Texas. Let's talk about that one. You know, this, is, this was an interesting one. You know, I've, I've, I've documented uh, 127 events from the start of the Madrid Land for Peace Conference in uh, October of 1991 when the perfect storm was sending 30-foot waves into President Bush's home in Kennebunkport, Maine, 
through 9-11, Katrina, and then Harvey. Uh, what was interesting, for the lack of a better word, um, Kushner, uh, Jason Greenblatt, and other members of the Trump team uh, were in Qatar, uh, Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, uh, Abu Dhabi, uh, Amman, Jordan, and then Cairo to meet with these uh, Arab leaders uh, about getting involved in this comprehensive plan, this peace plan. Uh, and uh, on Monday, 21st is the day, August 21st is the day that Kushner and Greenblatt and Powell uh, arrived uh, in Qatar, and then the, the next day to speak with the Emir, and then the next day they were in Saudi Arabia. And, uh, and also Abu Dhabi, and then on Wednesday they were in uh, Jordan and Cairo uh, just speaking with the leaders about what's, what's it going to take to make a comprehensive uh, Middle East peace plan. And, um, you know, what? Uh, Harvey was all but finished on August 19th. I mean, it just basically was finished. It was called a remnant. Uh, the Hur- National Hurricane C- uh, Center stopped doing any additional uh Advisories from Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday, the day that uh, Kushner arrived in Jerusalem, Harvey reformed into a tropical depression. By that night, it was a tropical storm, and the next day, the day that Kushner and Greenblatt were meeting with Netanyahu and the Palestinian president Abbas uh, became a monster category for hurricane in the in the rest of history. So. Once again, I've been following this for a long time, Mark, and uh, all the dots were connected, and uh, that's what happened. I'm a believer. You don't have to convince me. Well, let's talk a little bit of what's going on now with uh, the hurricane hitting Florida this uh, weekend. What's happening? Are there any discussions underway now? What's happening with regard to Israel yeah. now? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, President Trump is uh, stated uh, Within the last week, he's going to be meeting with Abbas and Netanyahu in the sidelines of the U.N. In the next couple of months, uh, he hopes to move forward with uh, peace talks. And then yesterday, I was at the White House for the White House press conference with the Emir of Kuwait. And uh, Emir of Kuwait, in his opening remarks, spoke of an Israeli-Palestinian peace deal. And uh, didn't even mention Israel's name, but he mentioned Palestinian uh, two-state solution. Uh, and then Trump mentioned it's a difficult deal, uh, it's a very difficult plan, and the possibility of a peace plan is uh, very, very difficult. But nonetheless, they're going to continue to push forward, meet with the Israelis and Palestinians, and hopeful that there would be a peace deal. Ironically, the same day that he declared that is the day that his uh, state there at Mar-a-Lago, Florida, was uh, evacuated. Unbelievable. So... Here we have uh, the same consequence for uh, the talk regarding uh, dividing uh, Israel's uh, holy land. And I know listeners to this might think that uh, we've gone off the deep end, but uh, yeah, right, right. I mean, when I mention this to people, uh, they, they, they just think, what's wrong with you, Mark? You know, but I've been watching and reading your commentary for a long time and docu- documented an event, and uh, very few people believe uh, God has any control over what happens on earth. And I think that's the, oh, uh, I- the big mistake, you know. Uh, absolutely, Mark. And I, I might add to this, uh, you know, since uh, the October 91 uh, peace conference in Madrid that started the Land for Peace conference, uh, or Land, Land for Peace process, uh, there was there have been $171 billion events, according to NOAA. Uh, and in my book, there's 127 events, and over 100 are billion-dollar events that were taking place at exactly the time as we are talking right now, Israel is being called on to give up their land for the sake of peace. Bill, I want our listeners to get a copy of your book. Okay. No, I, I I want to... okay, I want your listeners to get a copy of your book right away, eye to eye. What's the best way for them to get it? Uh, going to our website at watch.org, W-A-T-C-H dot org. Uh, it is also available on Amazon. And it's eye to eye, facing the consequences of dividing Israel. Thank you again, Bill Koenig. We'll have you back real soon. And uh, go to Amazon or watch.org right away, folks. You're going to have a r- real experience, a treat reading this uh, unbelievable, provocative book. Thank you, Bill. Radio.com for information on Mark's newsletters and products. Stay tuned. Mark will be right back. Why?
Want revenge on the common housefly? Well, after 10,000 years, someone has finally come up with a better way. The Bug Assault, a miniaturized shotgun, which utilizes ordinary table salt as ammunition. Non-toxic and no batteries required. $39.95 plus shipping and handling. Use discount code GCN and receive 15% off your purchase at BugAssault.com. Fire your fly swatter and get your Bug Assault today. Have you checked your Google search results lately? Search results are usually the first impression that people form of you or your business. So make sure that they create a positive impression with ReputationDefender.com. What the Internet says about you can have a big impact on your life and your livelihood, even if it's not true. Fortunately, you can now control how you look online and in online search results with ReputationDefender.com. Call 800-831-0771 now. That's 800-831-0771 for your free reputation. Analysis. If you have negative material from an ex-employee, upset patient, or former client, newspaper article, legal issue, social media, or other source showing up in your search results, you can combat it with ReputationDefender.com. Our dedicated experts in patented technology can help make your online search results look their best. Call 800-831-0771 to learn more. 800-831-0771. That's 800-831-0771. Or visit ReputationDefender.com. Water is the single most important thing your body needs, so you want to be sure it's the best for you and your family. Since 2005, thousands have depended on Berkey Purified Water. The Berkey Guy provides the lowest priced filtration systems in every size. For incredibly delicious water now and in an emergency, get to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com. You want to save money in a place that gives you growth, control, and certainty without stock market risk or tax risk, and you want guarantees and you want it all tax-free. That's a tall order. But you can get all of that with properly designed participating whole life insurance. Most people think life insurance pays after you're dead. That's true. But you can have tax-free access to use your life insurance while you're alive. Get the free book to find out how. Call 702-660-7000. It's been said any society is only three missed meals away from chaos those times may be near think about it our country faces multiple terrorist threats and aggressions from russia and north korea social unrest and violent marches yet again may lead to looting of stores and city shutdowns and our crumbling infrastructure leaves our power grid vulnerable to long-term outages from a single cyber attack when the chaos from any one of these threats arises the government knows it can't provide during a widespread national emergency that's why you need your own plan for self-reliance that's where my patriot supply comes in get a four-week survival food supply for only 99 dollars. that includes breakfast lunches and dinners order online at preparewithgcn.com 99 bucks for four weeks of survival food that tastes like homemade cooking and lasts up to 25 years from my patriot supply get your kits today at preparewithgcn.com free shipping is included preparewithgcn.com Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I'm here to tell you about GCNTelecare.com, a team of board-certified doctors assisting you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. Within 15 minutes of registration, care your family can afford, revolutionizing the healthcare industry, virtual consulting, providing diagnosis of non-emergency medical issues by phone or secure video on computer or smart mobile devices. GCNTelecare.com, virtual care anywhere. Think big. Think positive. Never show any sign of weakness. Always go for the throat. Buy low, sell high. Fear, that's the other guy's problem. Welcome back to the Wall Street Raw Radio Show with Mark Leibovitz, your time machine for the financial markets. Want to know more? Go to WallStreetRawRadio.com. Now, here's the elf himself, Mark Leibovitz. Welcome 
contact my good friend Henry Weingarten from the Astrologers Fund. Henry is managing director of that fund, and he's been uh, oh, managing money and advising clients for nearly 50 years, and he's been a regular and great guest on our program. Henry, um, thank you again for joining us on this Saturday morning. Great. It was my pleasure. Well, it was an interesting week as usual. Uh, we're pleased in a number of ways. We're pleased to see that uh, oil is above 50 because we tend to be somewhat bullish this quarter. Um, we sort of happy in one sense that the markets uh, didn't collapse, but on the other hand, there's still risk through the middle of uh, October. So we're still on our uh, still on August 4th and go away type thing, even though markets are slightly higher than they are now. There's still some very strong risk uh, to 15th, 18th of October. Uh, gold is interesting that we had that $1,300 test, which is not bad. I didn't think it would break 1325 but it did. Uh, but we put another buy-in uh, on uh, Thursday for that reason at around 1290 And it was sort of very interesting. One of our uh, clients and friends, which is Cypher Resources, did a first trade horoscope on Monday. And if anyone in the audience knows astrology, it was at 931 Excuse me, 9.39, 9.31 a.m., and that put Jupiter absolutely partial on the ascendant and Uranus on the descendant. Now, do you know what that means? No, you're going to have to translate for me. I'm going to have to Well, okay. Basically, if you're an astrologer and you see Jupiter on the ascendant, it augurs great success. If you have Uranus in a, aspect, in a favorable aspect to it, it means it's instantaneous or very rapid. So from an astrological viewpoint, uh, if anyone shows it to the astrologer, they'll think that it will be a very rapid success. So we'll find out if that's the case as time goes on, but we're rather pleased with it. Uh, as for the rest, uh, we really have nothing new to say. We're off to Hong Kong this week to meet with potential clients and some other things, uh, so we won't be around for a while. But uh, the situation is the same. I'm a little concerned uh, about the situation in North Korea that is being ignored. Uh, it's, there's, there's still some risk there. I, I feel we'll get through it, uh, but it's not something to just totally ignore. Well, you're headed in that direction, uh, Henry, so I hope you're, hope you're safe, and I hope they uh, don't start playing any games in that part of the world when you're over there. But meanwhile, uh, you know, it seems like uh, gold's the play. Uh, the Fed says they're going to be uh, selling off their bond portfolio, and the market seems I to think be that's ignoring that. Good. No, but I think that's good. Actually, if they do what they say, and I don't think we're going to see nine in the next three years. I think we're going to see seven. I still don't know if they're going to raise in December or... Uh, February. But if they do, I think that's very good. You know, two percent interest or so in two three years would be fantastic. They need to raise it, and I'm very glad they're not backing off because there is inflation. The only problem is they don't see what's clearly there. I'm sure your whole audience sees their expenses going up more than one you know, percent this year. R- right. It's not. It's not reported. Uh, it's it's been hidden for a long time. You're correct. Oh, no. right. right. But I think it's very good if they if they do that. That plan, I think it's actually very favorable. And lots of companies now are starting to want to come into the U.S. It's getting a very favorable market. And, you know, especially for small and mid-sized businesses, uh, this is getting past the 2008 problems, and it's getting back to, you know, really making money again, which I think is a good thing, as opposed to playing just financial games. Henry, thank you for joining us. Have a safe trip uh, to China, Hong Kong, and we'll talk to you in a couple of weeks. Henry Weingarten from the Astrologers Fund. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Welcome back, my good friend Kyle Dennis, who is the chief biotech strategist for RagingBull.com. Um, Kyle's an independent securities trader, and he's had a remarkable record. Uh, he's got a bunch of promotions running on the internet. I see them, but basically, he's t- taken a few thousand dollars into a couple million dollars with his uh, various biotech and other related trades. So basically, undercovers undervalued stocks using both technical, fundamental, and uh, what he calls uh, catalytic events in these individual stocks. Kyle, thank you for joining us. Thanks. I'm glad to be back on the show. Well, I'm sure you had an exciting week here. I've seen a lot of the trades, and uh, where, where are we at now in terms of uh, these catalytic events and some of the special situations you want to talk about? I know some are coming up and some you're trading day to day. Yeah, so uh, what we talked about last time is the, the thought that the IBV was going to pull back the biotech index. And that's what it's looking like it's doing to me. Uh, it looks like it's pulling back to about the 320 area or so where I think it will find support. But I'm still always on the lookout for the next type of catalyst event. And uh, one that I'm looking at, and full disclosure, I own a small position in of just 1,000 shares, is a company called Medici Nova. 
Now, this isn't a company, I want to get this straight, it isn't a company that I particularly like long term, but I do really like the catalytic event that's coming up here. They have a phase 2B trial that's going to read out at a meeting on October 28, 2017. So it's coming up in about a month or so. Uh, it's a progressive multiple sclerosis drug called MN-166. So they have a really nice catalyst event upcoming. The chart's been on a powerful uptrend, uh, a nice momentum move. And uh, I'm looking for a dip to possibly add to my position. I have shares. Uh, 1,000 shares at uh, 522, so it's up a little bit. So if it dips back down, I'll be willing to double up on that one for me. And I think that it has potential to go up to about $7 a share or higher in anticipation of that event upcoming. Kyle, what's the symbol of that one? Oh, sorry about that. The symbol is MNOV, but it's an OVA. Okay. MNOV, folks. MNOV. Let's talk about a couple of other names that uh, we brought up last week. We were talking about BLCM and the VKTX. Are those still on your list? Yeah, so uh, peak, uh, the BLCM has actually made a really nice run since we uh, talked about it. It went from about 10 all the way up to uh, about 13 in just a few days. So I'm looking forward to pull back here again, and if it gets around 10, I'm pretty interested because they have their ASH event. Uh, they're going to be at this conference called ASH coming up that with the uh, data coming out in the beginning of November. So that's pretty interesting to me. And uh, VKTX, that one as well has data coming out in the fourth quarter. Now, I don't like to hold through the data, so I think it's a sell before the end of this month, but it ran up pretty nicely here and uh, has a great-looking chart from a technical perspective. Kyle, thank you for joining us. Uh, Kyle Dennis from uh, RagingBull.com, and we'll have you back next week. Thanks for the great ideas, Kyle. Thank you. Thank you, Kyle, and uh, thank you, of course, uh, Henry, for joining us on this uh, Rosh Hashanah, post-Rosh Hashanah weekend. Uh, and this show, of course, is going live here September 23rd. Uh, we have our good friend Sinclair No joining us here in the next two segments. So we have a lot to talk about with the Equifax situation and with the Fed uh, meeting this uh, past week and so forth. So uh, you know, a lot of interesting stories. So don't touch your dial with Sinclair No from uh, Eat the Bankers coming up in just a few moments. Thanks for joining us on this Saturday, September 23rd here on Wall Street Raw. Go to WallStreetRawRadio.com for more information on Mark's newsletters and products. Stay tuned. Mark will be right back. High-performance investors and traders use superior financial tools to achieve superior returns. You have that tool with Mark Leibovitz, nationally renowned top market timer, legendary television Wall Street Week elf, and nightly business report market monitor, who shares with you his unique market tools and commentary at WallStreetRaw.com. At WallStreetRaw.com, Mark provides you with his latest ideas on how to help build and protect your wealth and help you avoid the next big market crash. Mark has a special free gift for listeners of his Wall Street Raw radio show. Go to WallStreetRaw.com and sign up for his free monthly Cannabis Vice News Raw report. While there, go ahead and sign up for his free monthly Gold News Raw report. Both are totally free. No credit card information is required. Sign up today for your free Cannabis Vice News Raw and Gold News Raw reports at WallStreetRaw.com. That's WallStreetRaw.com. Heart disease is on the rise. Clogged arteries, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol levels may not be fully detected by you, but the symptoms are there. Loss of energy, blood sugar spikes and drops, poor circulation, and irregular heartbeat are just a few of these that can alert you that something is wrong. Hear how heart and body extract is making a difference in thousands of people's lives across America. My blood pressure has normalized. My diabetes has totally improved. Everyone is telling me now how much healthier I look, and I'm from 
telling everyone how much healthy I feel. I recommend heart and body extract to everyone. Anybody over 40 in the North American continent should be using this product as a preventative to keep their cardiovascular system healthy. Order your two-month supply today by calling 866-295-5305. That's 866-295-5305. Or order online, hbextract.com. Heart and body extract, 866-295-5305. Or hbextract.com. Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can help you today, right now. Listen, dealing with the IRS is no picnic. It's an intimidating and extremely stressful process, and you don't want to go it alone. Our attorneys know every law, every tax break, and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt. And if you owe more than $20,000, you may be at the top of their hit list. So don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-765-9681 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-765-9681. Again, that's 800-765-9681. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, the inventor of my pillow. And like all of you out there, I had problems sleeping. Pillows would go flat. I would flip flop all night long. I would wake up with a sore neck, maybe a headache, or feel like I needed a nap, even though I slept eight hours. When I invented my pillow, I wanted it to where you could move the patented fill to give you the exact support you need as an individual, regardless of sleep position. My pillow will get you into that deep REM sleep faster, and you will stay there longer. It's not about how much time we spend in bed; it's about how much of that quality sleep we get. I do all of my own manufacturing right here in the United States. I have a 10-year warranty. You can wash and dry my pillow, and I give you a 60-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to lose. And here's my best offer ever. You can buy one of my pillows and get one absolutely free. Go to MyPillow.com or call 800-870-0305 and use promo code GCN. That's MyPillow.com or 800-870-0305 with promo code GCN. Welcome back to Wall Street Raw. Want to know more about Wall Street Raw and the Leibovitz VR newsletters? Go to WallStreetRawRadio.com. are my good friend and special guest, Sinclair No from KFNN 1510 Phoenix and author of the incomparable blog, eatthebankers.com. Sinclair, we've got a lot to talk about on this uh, Saturday morning. Thanks for joining us. We have very many topics that we could cover. We could spend uh, probably a whole day talking about what's been going on. Um, I think the, probably the place to start might be the Federal Reserve. How about that? Okay. They had their uh, midweek uh, meeting, and uh, there were no surprises there from what I heard. No, everything went exactly according to plan for the most part, at least as far as monetary policy. They decided to leave interest rates unchanged at this meeting. They indicated that they will probably raise rates in December, which they've been saying for over a year now. They will probably raise rates three more times next year and then maybe twice in the following year. Uh, peeling back a little bit from expectations for three rate hikes in 2018. They gave details on the great unwind. They're going to be selling off part of their balance sheet, $4.5 trillion 
billion dollars is now on that balance sheet. They're not going to sell off everything. They're going to start slowly at first. Well, it's a big yeah. mystery, uh, Sinclair, whether that's going to cause uh, a bit of a crash in the economy, right? Well, that's the whole thing. They're, they're going to start selling off bonds, and you think that when they start selling off bonds, we're going to see interest rates rise uh, because, of course, uh, rates move in the opposite direction of price on bonds. Now, you've got to think that this is going to slow down the economy. This is going to be a drag on the economy. Every time the Fed takes away the punch bowl, the party's over, at least on Wall Street and many times on Main Street as well. So can, can they pull this off? That's really going to be one of the biggest questions for the economy moving forward. Uh, I think, of course, the other big question that Yellen addressed in her press conference after the uh, announcement was about inflation. We just haven't seen it yet. If this is a Federal Reserve that is data-focused, well, the data on inflation just hasn't shown up. The PCE uh, inflation gauge is running at about 1.4%. Yellen says low inflation, and it's a mystery. That's scary when, when Yellen says that. But what they're doing is slow, gradual, and... $10 billion per month sounds like a lot, and it will be slowly increasing over time. But in the grand scheme of things, the Federal Reserve hopes that this is uh, just dull and boring and so small and incremental that it will be like watching paint dry. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. Wall Street has been uh, stepping up to the trough of free money from the Federal Reserve for so long that I'm not sure that they're going to uh, be satisfied with the Fed pulling back and taking away a lot of that free money. Now, there's still a lot of free money elsewhere around the world. Other central banks are still in accommodative mode. But the Federal Reserve pulling back, it'll be interesting. This, and it, it may not happen all at once because the Fed is so slow and incremental, but it will be interesting to see if they can pull this off. If they can... It's a major, major accomplishment. If they can't, it'll be, you know, more of the same. Well, the, mar the market will tell us, uh, Sinclair. We'll see how the Dow and the S&P act. Uh, that there are indicators. So the market's been climbing this wall of worry, and they've known about this for a while. So let's see what happens. It's really interesting. Meanwhile, hey, speaking. One thing I got to say for the ahead. Fed is, yeah. is they have uh, they have telegraphed this information. They've been very transparent about what they're planning to do. So, yeah, the, the market does know. This is There's no surprise here. Markets hate surprises. No surprise. Before we jump on to our old story with Wells Fargo, I did want to mention, and you probably read, that uh, even um, Janet Yellen made a comment about Wells Fargo this week. That was interesting. Basically, she said that uh, Wells Fargo may still face a penalty from the Federal Reserve itself. I thought that was really interesting. you have any insight on that one? Well, not any more than anybody else other than Janet Yellen. Um, that came from a pretty high said, place, you know? <laughs> so. Well, Federal Reserve, don't forget, they, they do have a role as regulator of, uh, of banks. Uh, don't laugh, please. Um, it's true. <laughs> okay. They do have a role as regulator of banks. So they could go in and do something, and quite frankly, uh, the fines that uh, Wells Fargo has faced so far, I think it's about $175 million in fines for, for some 3 million accounts that uh, they just created out of uh, whole layer. I mean, come on. That's, uh, it, it, that is criminal activity, plain and simple. And we also learned this week that uh, they probably could have been fined upwards of $10 billion or more for something like this. But the uh, Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, CFPB, uh, decided, well, no, we just want to get this done and over and move on. So they ended up with about $175 million. It was almost like a little gift to Wells Fargo. And if you think that that is going to be a deterrent, now $10 billion might have acted as a deterrent, but it would have had... It would have required hard work on the part of regulators 
to push their case because Wells Fargo would have fought back. Wells Fargo, $175 million, uh, they go, oh, yeah, we'll take that, sure. You know, and, and they make it up in a, in a day's, a half days, a couple of hours. Um, it's no big deal to them. $10 billion, that gets their attention a little bit, and they skate it. They just absolutely skate it. So it would be nice if the Federal Reserve were to step up, were to do something. Yellen hinted at that in her press conference this week, but no details. Um, and until we see details on on harsher penalties or, or tighter regulation, it don't count on it. Well, they've certainly been in the news, and we've been talking about it now for several months. So uh, we don't want to beat a dead horse here, but uh, it really was a serious situation. We have about 30 seconds. Really quickly, we didn't touch on last week the uh, Bitcoin situation, and um, particularly Jamie Dimon coming out, as you know, last week. It's a week-old story, but I thought it was still very interesting here, basically calling it a fraud. But meanwhile, we find out that, um, speaking of uh, eat the bankers and uh, bankers behaving badly, we found out that uh, J.P. Morgan was buying Bitcoin even after um, it was badmouthed by uh, Diamond. Hey, how do you drive the price down of something that you want to buy? <laughs> it's, it's, mean, called manipula- it's called manipulation, right? I think that's what it's called. Um, you know, I don't know what else to call it, but apparently it worked well for Jamie Diamond and J.P. Morgan Chase. Let's let's pick up on this one a little bit after uh, after the break. We have Sinclair Noah with us, KFN in 1510 Phoenix, and author of the blog, eatthebankers.com. We'll be right back with Sinclair. You're listening to Wall Street Raw with Mark Leibovitz. Go to wallstreetrawradio.com for information on Mark's newsletters and products. Stay tuned. Mark will be right back. I'm now convinced more than ever that we're just one major headline away from the next market crisis. Guess what? A new timeline report that I just read says that I happen to be right. Something big is getting ready to happen, just like it does at least once a decade over the last hundred years. An energy crisis in 79, an SNL crisis in 89, and the last two I warned you about, remember? The dot-com bust in 99 and the subprime crisis in 09. What's next? I want you to call for a free copy of Swiss America's new timeline report. Thanks, Michael. Call toll-free 888-732-7164. That's 888-732-7164. I've told you often, those who don't learn from history are destined to repeat it. Take action. It's no longer a question of if it's going to happen. It's just a question of when it's going to happen. Call toll-free 888-732-7164. That's 888-732-7164. Listen to what Jeff says about Andro 400. This product is so much better than even some of the advertisements. This changed every aspect of my life. There was a 40 waist, and uh, with the Andro 400, I'm down to 36. I'm 54 years old, and people have said to me that I look better than I ever have, and that I look like I'm in my early 40s. Hands down, I'm in the best shape of my life, and I'm telling you, it's the Andro. People immediately notice the burst of energy, my skin, my energy, plus the weight loss, the toning of the body, and the increased strength and endurance that I have in the gym. Where I was and where I am now, night and day. And Andro 400 has made the difference. My customers, my friends, my family, everybody's noticing the difference. Guys, if you want to lose belly fat, gain energy, strength, and muscle, and look and feel years younger like Jeff, try Andro 400, the safe, natural, and affordable way to boost your testosterone. Go to andro400.com or call 888 888- 400-0435. That's 888-400-0435. Andro400.com. In an emergency, you need a fire now. But what if the wood is wet? No problem for InstaFire. Our non toxic fire starter pack, light wet wood, can even burn on water or in any weather. Sustains winds up to 30 miles per hour. And each pouch weighs only 1.75 ounces. Need an emergency stove? Get the InstaFire Inferno stove that boils water in under three minutes. Temps up to 1,500 degrees. Free shipping on anything. Go to InstaFire.com slash radio specials and get yours today. InstaFire. Fire in an instant. InstaFire.com slash radio specials. 
Back pain doesn't take vacations. It never celebrates holidays. It's on the job 24-7 to keep your life exactly where it is, in limbo. But it doesn't have to be that way because Laser Spine Institute can help you take back your life from chronic neck and back pain. With a less than one inch incision, our minimally invasive procedures have provided relief to over 60,000 patients with a 97% patient satisfaction rate. So get ready to stand tall and live the life you've imagined for yourself without pain. Are you or a loved one suffering from a bulging disc? herniated disc, spinal stenosis, pinched nerve, or degenerative disc disease? Call our spine care consultants now at 855-510-BACK. For a no-cost MRI review and to learn more, it's time to say goodbye to chronic neck and back pain. Call 855-510-BACK to see if laser spine surgery is right for you. That's 855-510-BACK. What have you got to lose? Laser Spine Institute, the leader in minimally invasive spine surgery. Hunters, anglers, campers, and survivalists, get back to nature. Expand your horizons with the highest quality, most versatile, unique slingshots and sling bows on the market at slingbow.com. Slingbow products are compact and models start from just $17.98. They're perfect for your bug out bag or storing in your vehicle. Give yourself and your loved ones the excitement and tradition of Slingbow, a new frontier in archery and truly modern twist on this primitive survival tool. Feel the thrill only at slingbow.com. Responsibility begins and ends with our partners and our shareholders, and that's it. There is no freedom without the law. Get it? Got it? Good. Welcome back to Wall Street Law and the final segment with Mark Leibovich. Now, here's the elf himself. back my good friend Sinclair No from KFN in 1510 and author of the great blog eatthebankers.com well we just briefly touched on uh, Jamie Diamond and the Bitcoin uh, fiasco from a week back where we had that mini crash in the uh, Bitcoin and uh, Jamie's comment but it's just part and parcel I suppose to what we see uh, from banks behaving badly Sinclair over the years you know we saw this with the whale story where apparently there was no connection and we find out there is a connection it's just extraordinary yeah, Jamie Dimon comes out and calls Bitcoin a fraud, and it may well be, but uh, apparently what he was really doing was just trying to drive down the price so that they could buy some over in Europe, and most people did not catch that going on. Um, but this is the kind of thing that J.P. Morgan Chase and Jamie Dimon have been doing for a long time. There is a lot of question about whether Bitcoin is really something valuable or, or not. I don't know about Bitcoin itself, but the technology behind Bitcoin, uh, the blockchain technology, is certainly valuable, and it is something that uh, the bankers want to try to figure out. And for that matter, I think a lot of people are trying to figure it out. And this is what really makes Bitcoin valuable is the technology behind it. Because we are seeing more and more how the current technology that we have is so vulnerable to to hacks and cyber attacks. We saw it, of course, the big one was uh, Equifax. 143 million people just lose personal data into the dark web. But we saw it again this past week with the Securities and Exchange Commission which is supposedly the regulator of Wall Street. I mean, anytime there's a stock trade made, it supposedly is regulated by the Securities and Exchange Commission, and they have a corporate filing system called EDGAR, where companies submit all their filings, their 10Qs, 10Ks, all this stuff, uh, talking about uh, earnings reports, IPOs, mergers, acquisitions, anything that could move the market. Well, that was hacked into. Now, if, if you had a few days in advance the information about a, a merger or an acquisition or a bad earnings report, that would certainly be something that you could use, but it goes back even more. They've been trying to upgrade this whole system since the flash crash of 2010, and they're getting closer and closer to upgrading it, they think, but then they find out that the whole thing was, was hacked over a year ago, and people were 
wandering around doing who knows what in there before they ever figured it out. And, and what this really tells me is that this whole system, everything on Wall Street, everything to do with the banks, is extremely vulnerable in the digital age. And at some point, don't be surprised if you wake up and you look around and it's like, what happened to all the financial accounts in the world? They just went, poof. This is what the hard money people are talking about all the time, Sinclair. Don't keep it in the banks. Don't keep it at the brokerage firms. You know, one day it may just disappear electronically. And you're right. It could happen, right? The gold bugs are going to love this. I guess that's why cryptocurrency, you know, gained so much popularity, because it was an alternate place for your money. Yeah, well, that, that's kind of the idea, is that uh, this is a better way to digitally track an asset, whatever the asset may be, even if it's almost just a, an imagined asset like Bitcoin is. There's nothing behind Bitcoin. It's only the technology, the blockchain technology that exists behind it that makes it valuable. And it will probably be a blueprint for financial institutions moving forward. So the... Um Equifax situation, we have about a minute or so here. We heard this week that there might be an SEC investigation, that several of the senior executives are leaving. Um, we talked about this. this. is going to go on for quite a while. It's, it's really serious. It's huge, and unfortunately, Equifax is just absolutely blowing their response. If you ever want to see how not to handle crisis, um, just look at how Equifax management has, has dealt with this issue. Instead of saying, we're going to make it right, we're going to provide uh, credit monitoring, we're going to provide credit freezes, now they look at it as an opportunity to try and bilk, uh, you know, an extra $9 a month or $19 a month off of all these people who had their personal information stolen from Equifax and remember, we did not give Equifax our permission to have that information. Um, I mean, that's not that model that that exists. It's not like we said, yeah, here, you, you do this. This is a gross abuse of a position of responsibility. And now, instead of trying to make it right, they're trying to nickel and dime the consumers. Horrible. Sinclair, on that note, uh, we'll pick up next week. I'm sure we're going to be following this story for quite some time. Sinclair No from KFNN 1510 and author of the incomparable blog, eatthebankers.com. You don't want to miss that blog or hear these interviews. You really don't get this anywhere else, folks. At least I don't hear it everywhere else. Have a great weekend, Sinclair. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. Thank you again, Sinclair. Uh, really uh, timely interview here with Sinclair with what's going on. And we have a lot coming up this this coming week. Is North Korea going to set off a hydrogen bomb? And uh, a lot of concern about another hurricane in the Caribbean. And, of course, Puerto Rico is suffering through a great deal now, and there's a dam that may have on the verge of breaking there. So uh, how this is going to affect the equity markets is a whole other story. We find that, generally speaking, the markets climb a wall of worry, and they uh, they ignore the real-life events to a certain degree. In fact, uh, when it comes to war and so forth, unfortunately, the markets seem to uh, rally during uh, war, so I guess it's good for business. But meanwhile, I only have a few seconds here, and let's talk about the markets briefly this week, uh, you know, coming up into the uh, final week of the month, uh, and perhaps some end of the month, the window dressing, but the market uh, hit a little bit of a trading top here. We're still in this theoretical negative period. The market's ignored it up to this point in time. As you know, historically, the September, October, even possibly into November period on occasion does host some significant sell-offs. And I mentioned this last week and perhaps the week before. I remember way back in 1987, market looked great into September, and then suddenly early October hit, and, uh, you know, uh, the cream puff hit the fan, and we had, you know, a huge, huge uh, market crash. So uh, what could trigger something like that, whether that's even going to happen or not? But uh, for the most part, uh, economic policy seemed to be uh, uh, in force, uh, part of Trump, and things seem to be moving. But, of course, uh, there's a lot of concern whether the tax plan is going to get implemented, of course. The health care bill seems to be uh, in trouble again, you know, the inability to uh, revoke the Obamacare and start anew. So, you know, we have some turbulence out there. Meanwhile, looking at some of the individual 
individual markets. Uh, gold had a little bit of a sell-off uh, this past week, uh, dropping from the uh, 1350 area down to about the 1290 uh, zone. And uh, looking out a bit, it would seem that's still a place uh, to be looking to uh, put some money. I don't see gold exploding usually. It could still get up to about that 1400 perhaps in the months ahead, but obviously if it breaks out above that level, something more significant is happening. Crude oil is inching up there. A lot of crude oil bears around. Um, I think overall crude oil, I agree with my friend uh, Henry Weingarten, I think in the months ahead, uh, crude oil, which is around $50 a barrel, could move into the 60s. Whether we'll have another little shake here between now and year end is to be seen. So uh, we're at vrtrader.com at my website. We are long, uh, for example, an ETF and oil service stocks, and I think uh, oil-related plays should do well in the uh, months ahead. Bitcoin we didn't talk too much about, except with our comment with uh, Sinclair. But uh, a lot of volatility there. Bitcoin, as you know, in the last uh, two, three weeks, sold off from 4,900 down to 2,900. It bounced to 4,000 midweek this past week and closed at 3,600. Still overall, uh, I'm uh, bullish. I think uh, this is a future and a lot of the bad mouthing, particularly on the part of Jamie Dimon, we heard this past week. Uh, this is just uh, little road bumps as far as I'm concerned. So uh, whether it's going to go to 10,000 or some huge numbers, time will tell. I mean, while we're trying to trade it at our website, vrtrader.com, as you know, we try to do that with regard to our GBTC. Each week we close our show with what our old friend Ed Hart used to say on the old Financial News Network years ago. We will know in the fullness of time. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for listening to Wall Street Raw with nationally recognized market timer and previous Wall Street Week out, Mark Leibovich. If you missed any of today's show or to get in touch with Mark, please go to WallStreetRawRadio.com. Any stocks or investment discussed on Wall Street Raw are not in any way a recommendation or solicitation to buy, sell, or hold. We first recommend you seek out a licensed financial professional for advice. Go to WallStreetRawRadio.com for more information on Mark's newsletters and products. High-performance investors and traders use superior financial tools to achieve superior returns. You have that tool with Mark Leibovitz, nationally renowned top market timer, legendary television Wall Street Week elf, and nightly business report market monitor who shares with you his unique market tools and commentary at WallStreetRaw.com. Here, Mark provides you with his latest ideas on how to help build and protect your wealth and help you avoid the next big market tsunami. Mark has a special free gift for listeners of his Wall Street Raw radio show. Go to WallStreetRaw.com and sign up for his free monthly Cannabis Vice News Raw report. While there, go ahead and sign up for his free monthly Gold News Raw report. Both are totally free. No credit card information is required, and no one will call. Sign up today for your free Cannabis Vice News Raw report and Gold News Raw report at WallStreetRaw.com. Anytime, any place, anywhere. Radio remains the most intimate of all forms of media. At home, at work, in the car, on smartphones. Over 90% of consumers still listen to radio every week. That makes choosing radio as a place to advertise your business one of the best decisions you can make. Email advertise at GCNlive.com and partner up with an experienced GCN representative. Advertise at GCNlive.com. Easy, affordable, effective. It's a no-brainer. A Big Berkey water filter is the one you need, period. You need a water filter that removes chlorine, fluoride, pharmaceuticals, BPA, and other endocrine disruptors, pesticides, bacteria, viruses, and much more, right? And does it all at only two cents per gallon. Get the original, most trusted name in gravity water filtration, Big Berkey. And now GCN listeners receive 5% off ceramic filter systems using code GCN. Call or click 1-877-99-BERKEY or BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. That's 1-877-99-BERKEY. 